Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. My name is Leaf, and as always, it's really awesome to have you guys here today. So, 1.6 is coming June sec 22nd. There we go. And if we take a little look at our trusty little calendar, that is about one week and one day from now. And Jens Eric, my boy, my absolute Chad over at Frontier, has dropped some very spicy news on us today. So we got a lot to get into over here. So we're actually just going to like get into like a lot of it. I already see like some stuff that's really pointing out to me. So we're actually just going to start reading it. Hey, Zoo Keepers, curious to hear what's coming up for Planet Zoo? Then you're in the right place. We are happy to say that, you know, free update 1.6 is available to download and enjoy. June 22nd. As always, we're reading everything you share with us and working hard to include some of your most requested changes. In case you missed it, we shared about changes coming to the polar bear a few weeks ago. Yeah, we already knew about that. It was a little bit. They're just making the polar bear easier for gameplay. Free update 1.6 will also bring custom audio speakers. Now this I'm very excited about because we actually get to put in like, you know, our own custom music into the zoos and we can actually like incorporate like, you know, I'm just thinking of like Roger Williams recreation where Nick can actually go out and record the um, song that plays in from the zoo. I feel like that'd be really fun. I know just Goran's thinking of that too for uh, Beaksburg and Habitat cameras. Now that is something very interesting. I guess we can get into that like later but I'm not really sure what that actually means. Some deep swimming additions, we can already see. I am so excited about that. That is awesome. Vista points, now guys, I love the Vista points from, uh, I love them from Planet Coaster. And we're actually just trying to like look them up right now. I really do love them. So points, I guess, Planet Coaster. So these guys are really cool. They were just like these little blocks that you put down wherever. And you put them in front of like things that you want guests to look at. And that is something that I'm really excited to see happen to this. Because how many times have you built something that the guests just do not care about? The guests do not give a single rat's ass about. Now we can actually have guests care about what's happening in there. Expanded sandbox settings. Now that is actually really interesting. So I really do hope they're incorporating that like... You know a little bit of a slider feature when it comes to like animal genetics and stuff like that just you know so we could get like the minimum size of an animal and the maximum together it would really help with you know the m word and search options which is you know we covered that a little while ago uh especially with like the expanded roster including like you know all the modded animals we're easily breaking about 300 animals before this update even comes out so it'll be really awesome to have that, and I'm very excited to see that happen. Uh, read on more for details about these below. Bear updates, and we've made a few changes to the bears for 1.6. We know that the polar bear is a long-discussed topic for a Planet Zoo community, and we've done research into making them yada yada yada. Um, if you guys want to check all that stuff out that they're changed for the polar bear, you check that out right there. Personally, I don't really care because, you know, I'm more of a sandbox player anyways. But it's really cool to see nonetheless. So they're also adding deep swimming for the polar bear, grizzly bear, foremost, and black bear, and the sun bear. Uh, I feel like there's another bear in there that, were, that we're missing, but I could be entirely wrong. Anyways, all these guys are going to be getting deep swimming, and that is really exciting to see. And I really do hope we can, you know, see some updates to the deep swimming mechanics where, you know, maybe they can even, I don't know, deep, deep, deep dive in like some two meter two meter pools or something but hey we'll see that later so custom audio speakers for your speakers uh you can pick and play different music uh provide a different list of frontier tracks that's actually really cool if they actually include some stuff from like planet coaster that'd be really it'd be a really nice callback i really do like that so you can add all these types of files i'm sure most of you guys are familiar with mp3 wavs and uh m4as that's usually what I end up doing. I feel like those are going to be really welcome additions. Uh, Vista points. So keep an eye out for like any... Oh, I love the look of those already. So keep an eye out for like any, you know, hints in the back. So that's Africa right there. And we got like a nice little bear right there. So that's very interesting. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, Planet Coaster veterans will know this. Oh, I wouldn't even call myself a veteran, but I'm very familiar with that piece. Uh, recommended locations and directions for habitats. That's actually really cool. It's actually really cool. So I'm excited to see how like this piece will come out. 
I would love to, you know, add a separate one where we don't even have that big old, you know, the big stand, even though that is a beautiful stand right there. Like, look at the mixture of the concrete and the wood. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Time scenario, Central America, take charge in an animal sanctuary where you will receive new animals on regular regular schedule. Oh, I am liking this. I am... <gasps> no! Did they... Okay, okay. Let's talk about the time scenario. Chimpanzee statue. All right, chimpanzee, that's African. I feel like African DLC is pretty much like, confirmed at this rate. They had the elephants up there too. Habitat cameras and camera effects. Guys, I think this is what we're waiting for. A new feature that we're adding to help you feel a bit closer to your animals in your enclosures. Thanks to a new camera asset, this you will find going to facilities, media devices, and education. Visual media, these cameras will be placed anywhere and however you like, although one of the best ones is a habitat for placement, just like a zoo webcam in real life. Uh, this is actually really cool. So, small marketing bonus for up to six. That is really cool. So it's kind of like, you know, like how you go into like live zoo cams. Okay. Sure. Uh, and like, you know, San Diego Zoo has them and you can just, I don't know, let's go check out the baboon cam. How, how are well baboons doing today? Uh, well, you don't really see them. I guess that's pretty much true to real life. But yeah, that is insane to see like how we're actually getting that and how it actually affects like marketing. That is insane. I really do love that. That is such a nice little touch. Um, all right, so we're also adding camera effects. Yeah, that's really awesome. Provide access to the camera light too. For avid photographers here, these filters will also be maintained when using NVIDIA Ansel. Okay, okay, so if you go into Ansel and then you go into like the side of it, I think it may still show off like the light going that way. But if you point it like over there, the light will still be stagnant where it is. So that is really cool. Oh my god, there is so much, guys. I am liking this post right now. Um, this is my first time reading this, too. Animal trading changes. So in free update 1.6, we will be making a few changes to animal trading. This will include an increase. Oh, that is beautiful. 200 animals in storage. That is perfect. I feel like we should even uncap that too, but hey, that is just me. As well as changes to uh, updates in the UI that will give you more information about each animal's trade status. Awesome. We're also including search options. You'll be able to search through your animal storage and use these and use filters for which parameters you want to see. Uh, specific genetic markup. That's interesting. I really hope like, you know, search bar would be better. I feel like that would be excellent. Uh, search will be available in all the following places. Animal management, market, storage, exhibit, market, storage. All right, that is interesting. I like that. That's fairly interesting. Uh, staff management changes. Previous update, staff management changes a little too fast. I'm going to this so we can work on them a little longer. But uh, these changes will create categories for staff. Okay, so that's cool. So I don't really know too much about that. Usually when I play like Leafs Animal Farm, whoops. Leafs Animal Farm release Oasis, it doesn't really matter to me, like, I usually just select them all, but that's really cool that they're actually continuing on improving that little formula right there. Continue your zoo in campaign scenarios. Oh! Okay, many zookeepers have shared how they would like to continue their zoos they create in career scenarios. So we've added a little change once the player achieves gold in a career scenario. A fanfare populate- okay, that is cool, so once you complete a uh, campaign scenario it will like trigger like a sandbox mode that is really cool um i really do like that oh okay so sandbox settings these are gonna be really cool so last but not least we're introducing a whole new host of sandbox options these options will give you more control over your sandbox zoos as well as let you organize which zoos have blah 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 enabled um challenge these settings you use for each sandbox zoo will be saved at that specific zoo um however you can use a save custom preset option and apply those to any other builds that is awesome so no longer i think we will have any of those like glitches where you you know go into like you know another zoo and it kills all the animals right when you get in there so these are the new options that they have social welfare enable social groups overcrowding animal stress animal fights and animal predation and fear i feel like yeah, fights is really cool to have, like, you know, 
just working out on its own, especially for like thumbnails and like pictures and stuff. I feel like that'd be a really cool thing to have. Habitat welfare, enable water cleanliness, animal defecation. <laughs> Amazing. Who knew that this one feature alone could save Planet Zoo? Guys, they will never need to poop again. Those bowels will be blocked up, baby. Um, all right, so hard shelter, that is really cool. So we can enable like all of these functions. That is really cool to see. Uh, general welfare, enable escapes, guest settings, enable guests fleeing. Okay, enable negative effect on facilities on guests. That's good. Enable pickpockets. That's kind of cool. We're looking forward to share with you the new changes. This update will come with other tweaks, bug fixes, yada, yada, and of course, We'll have more to share with you very soon, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, did I like that? Yeah, I did. So that is absolutely awesome to see. Um, I'm not sure what my favorite thing is. I am so excited about these little bear guys, and I love, like, these guys as well. I'm just going to start saving these pictures because, you know, they may be coming up in the thumbnail. But let me know your favorite things from today, guys. Um... I'm just really excited about Vista Points. They are a absolute necessity when you're building, like, kind of like how I do. Um, the bear deep diving is absolutely amazing as well. I kind of assumed that Polar Bear was going to get it, but it's really cool that even the friggin' Sun Bear gets it. That is insane. So, yeah, that's really awesome to see. Uh, and, yeah, that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated going forward. Hopefully this week we'll be getting all that juicy news coming with like 1.6. Ah, oh, they're really doing us like they're really trying to confuse us with what theme is going to be this year. But you know, I just can't wait to discover it with all of you guys. So keep your eyes out for any other videos coming soon. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye bye now.